Let's talk angles. What angle do you sharpen the shears at? Uh, why is that important? Uh, we're going to give you some theory on this and then I'm going to do some practical sharpening so you can see how I choose an angle and why. One of the questions I have on the International Scissor Sharpeners Association written test is what is the optimum angle? So the correct answer is 45 because just geometrically, and this is a 45 degree angle right here, is um, if it was steeper, then your shears, the edge is going to slide more, so the hair would slide more. If it's blunter, it is um, just not going to be as sharp. But 45 isn't perfect for every shear for a number of reasons. But if someone gives you a pair of shears, you have no clue how they use them, you don't know anything about the shear, um, scratch test, and I'll show you how we do that, where you can see what the angle is on them, are a 45. Now, doing a scratch test to find out what the angle is on them now might not be the best angle to sharpen them at. Number one, you're only finding out what the last sharpener designed for that shear. That may or may not have been what the original factory angle. And sometimes the original factory angle is not the best angle for that customer. If the angle that was put on the shear was for someone that is only cutting wet hair, slide cutting, slithering, point cutting, it's a little bit of a slippery angle, but it's, for, it's designed for that, but that's not how the person uses them. It's okay. You can modify the edge. Um, I'm finding a lot of dog groomers uh, wanting a blunter angle, stronger angle than the angle that was put on it by the factory. A lot of people that are working at Great Clips, Hair Cuttery, Super Cuts, Standard Cutting, Dry Cutting, Hair, sometimes not wash a little dirt to it, they might want a, I use the word stronger angle, but a little steeper angle. Well, not that steep, but I might move it up to what I call a 35. Now, the crazy part, this angle, according to Protractor, would be a 55. And that's another video. I'll put the link up here comparing the, the uh, way the Japanese and the way the Americans have our angles backwards. And I think it's us that have the angles backwards. So just, that's why sometimes I'll say a sharper angle or thinner angle and a blunter angle. So it's not a confusion. So I have the perfect shears that came in today to talk about angles. And I have a whole bunch of these that came in uh, mail order sharpening. A whole box of them. And I looked through here, and that's what gave me the idea for doing this video. And this is one of our shears, but other people make it. And this one has a particular type of angle on it. This is a shear. Oh, this needs the handle bent a little bit too. This should be an interesting video. Um, this is a shear designed for slide cutting, slithering, and point cutting. And it has a particular angle on the blade that's different from one blade to the other in order to accomplish that. Now, uh, because this is our shear, and I know other people have it, yeah, somebody sharpened this wrong. So we're going to have to fix this. Yep, yep, it's been sharpened, and it's been sharpened incorrectly. Um, in the factory, they're doing a 57-degree angle on them. Now, I'll sharpen them at 55, but... And I'm going to have to check and see which blade it is, because the other person has sharpened them wrong. I think it's this blade here. It is blunt a five degree angle from here to here so that when you are opening them right here they just slide real easy. They're going to push hair but they'll slide real easy. So the last person that sharpened them did not know that about these shears and they put a sharp edge all the way down and 
that's not a 55 or 57 degree angle. That feels like a 45. So, we need to fix these shears. Now, how would you know it's one of those shears that's supposed to be blunt in here? You might not, because um, I don't know all the brands that are in here, but when I look in the light, I'm going to let you look at this. Um, you can see right along the edge, like they didn't pull up a burr back here. And that's kind of a hint. If you come across a shear, you're, you're putting your, your angle down here, and it's just not getting a burr at all back here, you may have one of those shears, especially if it's an expensive shear. Um, don't know any other way other than just make you aware that these shears are out there. I don't know any way to tell you, okay, it's going to be these brands. I've seen, um, we have a Banica that has that edge. I've seen Sensei, and I'm sure there's others out there. Um, there's another one above that has that. So there, there's probably more. So let me show you what I'm talking about, what I'm seeing that might give me a hint if I didn't know already. So when I turn this shear this way you can see that it looks like that angle is consistent all the way down as a convex edge when I turn it this way yeah there you go you can see that you see that how that angle is it looks like it's flat and then it's sharp this was actually up to about here is where it was blunt at five degrees and then it was sharp on up here so we'll try to fix that today all right, so if you have trouble taking these apart, we have a special tool for them that's that size. If not, this is a 3 8 inch, and that'll take it out. might be able to grab it with your fingers, too, as well. So I can tell the difference. I'm going to put a X here so I know this is the one that should be blunt up to a right about in here. So I'm going to make myself a mark. This is a 2000 grit Japanese Nanawa water stone. And I'm doing the inside the same as if it was just a regular shear checking. See, I didn't get near the edge here. And that's the area where that angle changes. But I'm not too worried about this area. Because it doesn't have to cut well. It's only this part that needs to cut well. So even though the red's not removed, I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to actually polish over that area a little bit. What's going on with the calendar? Look, look at my calendar. What? What are we looking it looks at? perfectly not until you go the 12th to the 16th, oh. to the 17th, then back to the 15th. And Where did you get that calendar? <laughs> no wonder I don't know what look day at, is. Look at this calendar. 12th to the 16th. And then the 17th, and then we go back to the 15th. So if you ask me what day it is, the 16th happens twice in October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, I've never seen a misprint on a calendar. That, that is crazy. <laughs> I gotta look and see if it's coming. Now, if it was April Fool's Day, that might be different, but. Yeah, no, that's the. I'm setting the angle at 55 degrees. I know, I was trying to do something. I was like looking for dates and I'll get all confused. I'm glad that's not the wall calendar. That's how I decide who's coming for training or what have you. I have people coming two days. Now, I made the mark. I'm glad I did that to know where it needs to be sharp. So, I've got it set at 55. And this is a convex edge. So I'm coming in, I'm going to rock. I land here and I roll to the edge. I have a feeling I'm not going to get a burr because I don't think the last person did it. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a burr back 
back here, not at the tip. Can't get it burnt at the tip, tilt it down a little bit more. Looks good. Now this one, I'm only going to work it like here. You see that? I made the mark where it changes its angle. Now normally I tell people to go ahead and put the whole blade on here because they're not going to be able to come up to the edge with the 55 and just don't worry about what hits there. But because I'm trying to correct somebody's last sharpening, I'm going to do just half the blade. Now when I'm doing half the blade, I want to make sure there's a little space between here and the plate. I can actually put my nail under it because if I'm touching here and that tips up, then I'm going to end up with a, a scoopy thing. And I don't want a scoopy thing, do I? They're not supposed to be wavy shears. Even though these are called the ocean shears, I don't want any waves on them. Okay, I've got a burr and none back here, which is what I wanted. The burr ends there. And I've taken off enough metal to get out any mix. Now I'm going to go back and pull my burr off. In the factory in at Jaguar, they used um, thin like um, cellophane to test it with. Okay, now I want to polish. Now I'm going to do something very, very, very unusual. And I'm going to set my clamp at 5 degrees. Yep, 5 degrees. As I said, you won't come across these shears very often, but I don't know. They may become very popular pretty soon. I, you know, you, you never know what you're going to find. So I put my X, which almost disappeared, but it's on this shear here. And I'm going to do just in the back, just right here. I want to have that edge up. And I'm going to do maybe a little bit slower. That's the way it looked originally. Got a little burr left on it. It's a horrible way to use up your nails, but so what I want you to see now, and I'm going to zoom in, and I want you to see the difference between these two blades. You can actually see the difference. Light reflecting off of them. Can you see how this one has like a flat area right in there, and that one does not? That's supposed to be that way. Is it lunchtime? 11.30. Okay, let me, let me put these shears together. And then we'll go to lunch. Okay, you see how back here it doesn't cut? That's okay. It's supposed to cut from here at the middle down. Yep, okay. Now let me show you what I mean about them slide cutting. So if I had some hair, they're going to slide beautifully back in here. Just very, very smooth. Most of the time you tell people to slide in the middle of the shears, but see it pulls at that point. But if, you, if you're sliding in the back, it just goes right through the hair. So, it's important if people have these shears that they understand how they're supposed to operate. If they don't like the way they operate, then you can
change the angle on. But I'm assuming these came as mail order. I'm assuming that person wants them to work like they did originally. So those are done.